Hello everyone! Oh, we're here! Skullgirl's second encore. The Marie DLC is here! Which means that the Season 1 DLC pass is finished. Uh, very excited! Very excited to check this out, especially because it's more than just her. We have a number of things that were added. New character skins. Um, her stages are different. There she is, right at the top. Marie! It's Marie. The last along with her goth voice pack. So, let's just take a look here. I think most of these we've seen. That looks new. I haven't seen that one. Uh, we got a peacock color. We got her super hard form. Let's see here. Anything new? I think for the most part, we've seen most of these. The last ones might be new. Oh, it's a Jolene color. I don't know if that's there before, but that's good because uh, Kira Buckland voices Jolene as well. That looks new. I don't recognize that, but that is a nice color scheme. Goku because the spirit bomb. Uh, ooh, that looks new. I don't know what that one is. That looks like a League of Legends character. That looks very familiar. Okay. Like an Alice in Wonderland, and there's Sans there at the end. But regardless, we have other character skins too. They got skin 30, Sonic, because of the spin ball, and plus, to go with uh, the shadow skin there. Very nice. Uh, Fuqua did not get one. Okay, so if they have 30, that is Street Fighter 6 Jury. Nothing new. Nothing new. Eliza got this one. Uh, nope, don't know. Big man. Back on the beat. He had Wario before, right? I think so. Ready? Nope, don't know what that is. Um, Time to operate. Ooh. Ooh. It's a nice one. Can't tell what it is. Igrets, get ready. Yep, another one that I look at and I go, no idea, but I'm sure people will figure out. Ooh. That's cool, that's cool. I like the colors on that one. Beowulf gets Shrek. Beowulf gets Shrek. I don't know why, but it's kind of silly and I appreciate it. Ooh. Okay, I think these are two new ones, actually. Dang. That's a good color scheme. Don't know what it is. Umbrella gets Anya. Yep. And he gets... Okay, so that was there before, but what's this one? I like it, though. It's kind of... Is it meant to be, like, just Kirby? But no, it doesn't have red shoes, huh? Black Dahlia. This uh, should be that is not the new one. Okay, it's fine. Um, regardless, I'm very excited to, to give uh, the story mode a try. Oh, right, the stage thing. Because we can show that off here. And you know what? It might be good to actually try out some of... Uh, Marie's stuff here uh, ahead of time. So let's go with, uh, let's do one of those new skins. So, stages now. Some of them you can press up and down to get different ones, such as all the different NMO Arena versions Evo Arena, 2024 Arena, 2021 Arena. Oh, interesting. The Nightmare one's unlocked by default. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, they're different stages. Oh, weird. Some of them, some of them count and some of them don't count as being next to each other. Huh. Huh. Yeah, like these two, you'd think they'd be the same. There might be some logistical reason why they're not the same. I don't know why. All right. Let's go to, though, uh, let's go to the new stage, the nightmare version here. All right, so for the most part, you know, we played as her, right? Although I don't remember most of her stuff. We got the bunnies, right? Bunnies on quarter circle. Okay. Uh, we got quarter circle back is the, that's the movement one, right? That goes around. Medium. Yeah. Ooh, you can cancel that now. Nice. That still stuns. Good. Crystal forward kick. 
So your kicks are your stand, essentially. Nice. And then the heavy. Long time. Back to the projectile. Okay. All right. I don't think you have a sure you can. Anything else? What's new, maybe? Let's see here. Uh, we got the suction, right? How far does that go? I'm gonna see here. Okay. Okay, so got a character length away. Suction, obstruction. We got supers. Yeah, this one's weird. The weight of our will. That's a freaking near automata reference. And I oh, I wonder what this powers up. All right, doesn't it make the bunnies like last forever? Let me try this. Yeah, doesn't it make the bunnies just continue to last? There's something there, I remember. Okay, I think that about covers it. I understand how she plays. What we're here for is, of course, the story mode. I'm gonna crank it up to, uh, let's go hard. I can do, mm, you know what, just in case, I'm gonna go, because it's a new character, let's just go normal, right? And let's head through her story mode. I'm excited. There you are. Patricia, don't tell me you're watching cartoons again. Uh, the voices will be coming, apparently, next year. Because uh, they're trying to organize the Japanese voices, which, yeah, I guess that's difficult. Yeah, just when I thought I was safe. Get an egg, save it for the commercials. I will not. Everyone wants to play baseball and we don't have enough people without you. Not my problem. Mr. Hildegard says... I don't care what Mr. Hildegard says. He can't tell me what to do. He's not my dad. My dad's dead. So is yours. So is everyone's. The Skull Girl got him, and she'll get us too. Dang. Also, yeah, human uh, Marie there. Huh. I don't think I've seen her with that color scheme. But the Skull Girl is gone. Are you stupid? There's just going to be another Skull Girl and another after that. If I'm going to die, I'd rather watch cartoons. It's more fun than playing house with you nerds. I've had enough. No more TV until for you until you go outside. Hey, turn it back on! Why do you care anyway? Because I'm a maid, and taking care of everyone is my job. You're not even a real maid. Mind your own business. M2, stop being lazy and act your age. Act your age, goody two-shoes. Stop it, you're gonna break the TV. You no, know you're gonna break it. Uh oh Oh no! And that's a big old CRT. There's gonna be like horrible dust in there. Oh, whoa, we're skipping ahead. Okay. Of course it's know your place. Of course it's know your place. Argus Agony. Not bad, Marie. Just like old times, huh? You're as stubborn as ever. Stop this pointless fighting, Patricia. I can't control this power forever. Leave now. Well, you still can. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we go from Skullgirl Marie to a live zombie vacuuming maid version. Oh, so now you want me to leave you alone? <laughs> that chance. I've nearly eliminated the Medici family. Why must we fight when I'm so close to making my wish come true? Ah, because your wish sucks. Who asked for all these zombies and dead mobsters? I want my friend back. You can't save me, just as I could not save you. The only penance left for my cowardice is to kill the ones responsible for our suffering. I will see this through to the end. You can't reason with her, Peacock. Ah, put a sock in it. We're having a moment. A cool moment. Are you sure you know what you're doing? We know there's no chance of that. Ah, just stick to the script. We only need one good shot. Hmm. I can't believe we agreed to what is surely the most foolhardy, preposterous, and perilous plan I've ever heard. I don't know. I can think of one plan that was crazier. That was to save the world from Queen Lamia, not to rescue one girl. If this all goes wrong, we all die. Oh, come on, that's all. Two of you are already dead, so eh, what's there to lose? Besides, if there's even a chance we can save Marie, I'm gonna- I'm doing what it takes. I'm not fond of this plan either, but 
I want to believe it's possible that we can save a Skullgirl. And if we can save Marie, then maybe there's hope for Carol. Okay, let's do this. This really feels like it's coming at the end of everyone's stories. Which would make sense. That was kind of the point of getting Marie playable, was this is the closest to like a canon story end, right? If you refuse to listen, I have no choice. Behold how insignificant you are before the power of a Skullgirl. Oh, we're gonna play as the boss version? Oh, cool! This has been in the game for ages, so it's not anything new. Now the key is letting your combos end. Right, if you combo too long, you need to let the combo stop because of combo scaling. Yeah, because if you if you don't if you let it keep going forever, then it won't work. So there is like, I wonder, did they add command list? They didn't. Just press buttons, right? Okay, so I feel like they might have turned down some of the uh, because you because otherwise, like you could just do this and get a 99 hit combo essentially. But the way it works, yeah, see so you start, you know, taking less damage over time. So that's why you do want to let it actually stop there. Okay. All right, that's one. Nice. Get them zombie shields, nice. Those do a lot of damage. Do we have super with you? I don't think so. Okay, keep doing those. That should be that. All right. wonder if there's going to be an alternate ending if you lose that. I'm curious. I kind of want to let them beat me. Know your place. Yeah, get a new line. Stop this. I don't want to hurt you, Patricia. If, you, if I can't stop the Medicis, our suffering, our loss, all of it will amount to nothing. I cannot let that happen. The guilty must be punished. But it won't end there. After the Medici, what next? Will you let yourself become the cause of someone else's tragedy? I will not waver. I gave up my heart so such pleas would not distract me. You sure? Because you seem distracted. Look, you missed a spot. As if I would fall for such a... Got you! What are we doing? What? You can't... You can't command grab a boss? That's impossible! Squiggly, now! Leviathan! Let's get... to the heart of the matter! Oh, shoot! Really? Okay. Is that it? All that anger... our suffering... was worth... Or all that our anger or suffering was worth, yeah. I can it. You don't get to give up, not after everything we've been through. Not after you never left me alone. Avery! On it, boss! One one-way ticket through space time for the Skullheart coming up! Ah! It hurts. What are you doing? I'm trying to save your life or a death, whatever. Feel ya, keep it down! Patricia, stop. Nothing can reverse a wish from the Skullheart. Is that what you wished for? Revenge? Death? Ten million stupid skeletons? This is all I have... This wish is all I have left. What about you? You're still here. We can save you if you stop being such an idiot. Uh, boss, the Skullheart's too strong. It's gonna tear Miss Marie in half at this rate. <sighs> Come on, Marie. What do you really want? Revenge? Or watching cartoons with your best friend? I... I... I don't want this anymore. Patricia, help me. What's happening to the Skullheart? I've never seen it nothing like this! The Skullheart is resisting the dimensional gate with such fervor that it's tearing itself apart. Leviathan, you've got new space-time powers too, don't you? Give the gal a hand! What? That is the definition of reckless. I want no part in it. Hurry, we can't hold her much longer. 
Do it, Leviathan. It's all or nothing. All right. Brace yourselves. We've almost got it. Whoa. Really? Really? Okay. So, like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen now? Wait. Wait, what's happening? We're going back? Okay. <gasps> no, stay away. Uh, you, so you're KG Tang. Okay. Heavens, little girl. I can make sure this stew never threatens you again, but the poor headmate will be rather sensitive about it. Huh? Where? Who? Wait, <gasps> she went back in time. I'm happy to answer both of your questions with the same answer. This is Hildgard Castle, and I am Mr. Hildgard. The man with the car? You do remember me, then. Or my car, at any rate. That is good. I'm sorry there was no time for introductions when we first met, but they can wait until after you have your stew. It may be cold by now, but I promise it's not dangerous. Th thank you. <laughs> A healthy appetite. You must be feeling better. Not surprising, as you've been asleep for three days. You gave me quite the start when you woke up so suddenly. Th three days? You should eat before asking more questions. Or if you insist, you may ask questions before you eat, as long as you don't do both at the same time. You were injured and in shock, I should think, but fret not. Better you should sleep these past few nights than awake to the nightmare of the Skull Girl. I... remember... The sky turned dark, and then she... she... Wait, are we in a flashback, or are we... Is this when she just originally was doing it? Okay. Don't worry. We're a long, long way from Rommelgrad. Here in the mountains of Duras, these are just... These are new things to me, but they might be from the mobile game. And once again, I... I don't play the mobile game. I've tried. Where no invaders have ever reached, not even the Skullgirl can find us. I remember now. We met while you were looking for your grandson, right? That I was, as you were looking for your parents. We decided to look together. I thought I could help. It was very, very kind of you. Everyone was running and screaming, and I tripped and fell. Then something horrible had came out of the ground, and I don't remember anything after that. You were hurt quite badly. The city was all but lost and there was no place left in the capital that could care for you. So I made the decision to take you as far away from that place as I could. I hope you can forgive the recklessness of my driving, though you slept through it all. What about your grandson? I... do not know. All I know is that you, a child right in front of my eyes, needed help. Oh no, you shouldn't have! I had to! I couldn't well leave you there. I may have been a fool rushing madly into danger. But at least I found you. Let's speak no more of it. For my grandson, I can only hope. For you, there is stew and rest. My mother and father. Did you see them? I think you should finish your stew first, and then we can talk about what to do next. It may be that neither of us can return to Rommelgrad for some time. For now, hope is all we have. Ah, but first... I must know your name. Can you introduce yourself? Oh? Okay, now we're under... Okay, now we're under where her fight was before. Mr. Hildgard. She has her eyes back to normal. Oh. A dream. Can Skullgirls dream? Or am I finally dead? Ah, you're heavy is what you are. Get off! Patricia, what are you doing there? Uh, you fell on me, doofus. Ah, uh, but at least you're Marie now, right? You ain't gonna throw a bunch of skeletons around and talk about how weak I am. I didn't say it that much, but I feel strange. I feel better. Ah, uh, we did it! Squiggly better be alive so I can rub it in her face. Oh, I'm sorry for doubting your genius, Peacock. I'm just a dumb zombie. I love nagging and eating brains. How did you even do... Whatever it was you did. Ah, we bent the ginormous cosmic timosphere to try and fling the skull heart out of the universe, ah, but it hated that so much it turned into a bunch of crystals and exploded. The... the what? 
I talked to Avian and calls it the space-time continuum, but that's super boring, so I came up with a way better name. Cool, right? I guess, but what is this feeling? Like a tiny candle inside my chest, a fragment of the skull heart. It's very warm, but also very cold. Is this shard what's keeping me alive? Ah, uh, probably. The important fact is you're alive. Well, not technically, but you know what I mean. We can let the Lab 8 nerds figure out the rest. I suppose it's just one more mystery. Like what happened to you? You have metal teeth, metal arms, and no eyes. Oh, there's so much I want to ask you, Patricia, and so much I need to tell you. But we need to get out of this place first. This is Gehenna, Double's Domain. And there are even worse things in this place than even her- What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Me, for instance, if I do flatter myself. Ah, oh, Valentine! Marie, aren't you her boss? Tell her she's fired, and also she needs a redesign. She's currently breaking the Geneva Convention. She has no reason to obey me anymore. And every reason to want revenge. Fine. Plan B. Avery, get us out of here. Now, uh, Avery. Hello. Uh, don't be cute. Just uh, get us out of here. Damn it. Did he get lost when the skull heart went kaboom? Now what do we have here? A skull girl without the skull heart. It should be impossible. Yet, here you are. I'll happily put aside revenge to give this medical curiosity a thorough dissection, purely in the interest of science, of course. With Brain Drain's help, I presume? <laughs> Say what you will about his methods, the man gets results. I knew you'd return to your true master eventually. I'm only surprised you hadn't become tired of serving one after another. It's just more efficient to work with those who share my goals. Even ours aligned. You understand, as well as I do, that authority and morality just get in the way of doing what needs to be done. I... did horrible things. Things that can't be forgiven. The price for stopping the Medici was much too great. Please don't let your resolve weaken now, Marie. That's the last thing I respected about you. That's why taking you down is in revenge for Last Hope. It's simple efficiency. I don't need excuses and neither do you. We have a simple disagreement over methodology. And there's only one way to resolve it. Fine. Do as you or as you wish, Valentine. I will make this as simple as possible. Do we have? I'm ready for no, we're 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 on our own. Okay, probably because we couldn't restrict Avery as part of the move set. You know. I need to remember sort of some of my routes here. Okay. Oh, I forgot the aerial attacks, but I gotta kind of work with there. Okay. Okay. There we go. What's the level three with her? I want to do it because it's fun. Uh, double coarser back P. I've seen worse. Ready for your shots? All right. Should have should actually comboed into it. I love that move. Okay. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. One fragment of the skull heart still has this much power. Impossible. How can you still control your undead minions at all? Let alone this many of them. For how weak you were as a skull girl, you really are a tenacious little brat. But I didn't call for them. Interesting. But I suppose it's a mystery I won't get the chance to solve. You should know exactly what to do. The most efficient method of making sure I don't ruin your plans again. I'm tired of efficiency. I don't want your pity. Save it for someone who deserves it. Double told me to kill you. I did not want to follow her orders. And I don't want to follow yours, either. Wait, did I mess up? Was that Valentine? Oh, I wish I could go back and check. Oh, well, it's fine. And I don't want to follow yours, either. That is my resolve. I don't want to be like either of you. No, I don't think so. If you let me live, I will kill you. I know how dangerous you still are. Go ahead. Once you've paid the rest of your debts, I'll gladly settle this one. 
Yo, they got some, they got some banter. Huh. It's a deal then. Uh, hey, I hate to interrupt, but uh, if you hurt Marie, I'll totally kill you. You also attacked Lab 8, so I might have to give you the what for here and now. I attacked under orders from Double and the Skull Girl. Shouldn't she bear some responsibility too? That's... Uh, ah, just shut up. Oh dear. It's almost like a perpetual cycle of violence and revenge doesn't get you anything other than a lot of dead bodies. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that sprite. There's a lesson there for you children, but not for me. Uh, you okay, Marie? Yes. Thank you, Patricia. You're lying. You always do this. You pushed yourself way too hard. I know. I'm sorry. But it really isn't as bad as it looks. Oh, jeez. If you're agreeing and apologizing, it must be worse than I thought. I'm not that contrarian. Oh, good. That's better. I mean, oh goodness, I can't win. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing back and forth. Oh dear Marie, come now, there's nothing for you to still be crying over, is there? But there is. I broke the television and we'll never be able to get another. At least a TV is all that was broken. From the way you two were fighting, I feared a bone or two might become a casualty. But we were so bad. I was trying to help, but I just made a mess and Patricia hates me more than ever. Well, it certainly was a mess and I'm certainly not happy about it, but I'm more worried about you two than I am about the mansion's future. Really? Why ever would you think a television is worth such a fuss? You're letting us stay here. You're taking care of us and you don't ask for anything in return. We're not your children. We're not even related. If we make too much trouble, you won't want to keep us anymore. But Patricia always makes trouble. She won't study, she won't make friends, she won't behave. She makes me so mad sometimes, but I don't want her to have to leave. You won't throw her out, will you? Marie, listen to me. I will never abandon you nor any of the other children, no matter how many televisions you break or how much mud you track into the castle. We have so little in these times but each other. I've lost one family already. I will keep the one we've made here as close as I can. This is going to be real sad when we go into the whole stabbing the thumbs through the eyes thing. Even Patricia? Of course. Ones like her who are so troubled and hurt need patience the most. Patricia might even have a thing or two to teach you about having fun and forgetting your troubles. You can be rather too serious at times, Marie. Right now, Patricia needs your friendship more than a scolding. A friendship I think you need as well. But I've already ruined everything. I should have just left her alone. I have a feeling that no matter how grumpily she behaves, deep down, she's glad there's someone who cares about her enough to keep bothering her. So, if you'd like to keep trying, I have an idea. Hello, we're to Marie. You okay? Uh, oh, I'm fine. I really am, but with the skull heart gone, memories I didn't even realize are missing, were missing, are rushing back. Oh, I was kind of worried you were going to turn evil again or something, but you're still your old self. So, whoa, self. Ooh, whoa, that word's tough. Your old self. It's like nothing happened. I knew it was still you under there. Patricia, the skull heart didn't really make me do anything. It took away all my feelings except for those of revenge, but that desire for revenge, it was all mine. I thought I was strong enough to control it, but everything I did took only took me further down the path Double had planned for me. Oh! Oh no! Wait! Is this- This isn't Peacock! No! Wasn't all bad though, right? Someone needs to kick bad guy butt. That's why I saved you after all. You did- Did? For what? You said yourself you were pretty good at controlling the Skull Heart. You even managed to kill almost all the Medici with it. So it's simple. You just need to finish what you started. If there's no saving us, we should go save other people. More than the Medici. You can go further than that. This whole world needs saving. No. I hate the Medici so much, but even still, I can't keep using this power. It almost killed you. 
Yeah, something even worse might happen if you don't do anything. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh. Well, it's fine, because that's clearly double, right? Ah! Patricia! Oh my, I'm quite clumsy. I missed my target by a millimeter and hit some old trash instead. Marie, it's dark! No, 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 this can't be happening, not now! Of course it's happening. It's the natural fate of those who challenge the Medici. I've been waiting for a chance to take another crack at you, Skullgirl. So don't just sit around crying. You have to finish it, Marie. No, Patricia, I can't. Please, make your wish come true. My wish? Get revenge for all of us. That's wrong, Patricia. That wasn't my wish. Not going to resist then, are you? I'll make it quick. You've outlived your usefulness many times over. Silence. This charade is disgusting even by your standards. Do you think Patricia's so easy to imitate that you could fool me with this mockery? <gasps> Yo, she knows! It seems like she is so clever by half. Yeah. Playing multiple roles at once is taxing work even in Gehenna. I thought the face of the Medici you so despise would remind you of your purpose. Tell me what you've done with Patricia. So wait, she was also, she was also Black Dahlia. Oh, cool. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Uh-oh. This is going not great to start. Okay, it's fine. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do better. We'll, we'll do fine. We're learning. It's been a while. Okay. Nice. We tried to grab, didn't work. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. It's fine. We, we had we had a bad first round. We could try it again. We hit that try again there. Okay. Bunnies, bunny versus bunny combat. Let's go. I need to use Hildgard more for sure, because since they're uh, like a zoner type, right? Oh, I love that, that you can use that multiple times like that. Okay. Nice. Good. Much better, much better, much better. Oh, yo! They pose together and talk. That's great. Please. This is my fight. You don't need to protect me anymore, minions. Your will... Oh, wait, that's double, right. Well, in the shape of Dahlia. Your will burns so cold and bright even still. The fact that one shard holds this much power over the dead is a testament to the might of our masters. All the more reason it should be returned to them. Though you have ruined so much, the open arms of the goddesses will embrace you even now. I will never obey you again, double... My obstinate and willful Skullgirl, if only that very will was not what we needed so badly. Time and again your will has buckled, only to come back stronger, more beautiful, shining like a polished pearl. But now, Skullgirl, now, my precious Skullgirl, the time has come for you to offer it to the goddesses you serve. I am not your Skullgirl, and I won't be deceived by your twisted wishes ever again. Precious child... Did you not share our wish? The goddesses understand how much this terrible and unfair world has made you suffer. You still have a chance. With that precious shard of the skull heart, you can make that wish that will save this world. At every turn you manipulated me and countless others. No wish will come from this monstros no wish that comes from this monstrosity could ever help anyone. Poor thing. 
Have you not realized that death is the only cure for this world's corruption and evil? When did you lose that merciless conviction? Was the incident with Labate too much for you? I knew you could not be convinced to act in your own self-interest. You needed a nudge. You lied to me, tricked me into killing innocent people. There were children kidnapped by slavers, modified into killing machines, including your precious friend. Did I lie? They were afraid and hurt. I destroyed their family and their home. I did exactly what the slavers did to us. You could have swept them into the loving embrace of death, where there is no pain or brokenness. Instead, I was forced to finish the job, and you avoided neither the outcome nor the responsibility. Your hesitation to remove these obstacles what led to your ultimate defeat. Obstacles to your plans, not mine. After my revenge was complete, what would it matter that happened to me? You. Perhaps you are more shrewd than I gave you credit for. Were you actually hoping Lab 8 would exterminate you after you were done with the Medici? Once I got my wish, why would I care if there was still a Skullgirl remaining to do your dirty work? What clever double dealing. Pity you never got your wish, and without us, you never will. You need us far more than we need you. Patricia saved me. What can you offer that's better than hope? Hope. A castle against the rising waves. It will never last, no matter how you cling to it. What can a poor lost child like you do without the guidance of the goddesses? There you are, Marie. I've been looking for you for ages. Some goon who looked like you was messing with me and... Uh, hey, you okay? I hope there's no big disagreement that lends to them fighting. I really hope not. Oh, it's the Lenny of the Star shirt. Also, nice cap. I mean, it's a little patchy, but nice cap. We appreciate those here. Anyways. Cut it out! Oh, you are awake. Can I come in? No, leave me alone. You're just here to lord it over me. Perfect little Marie never gets in trouble. My neighbors were knocking. I was a... Maybe I shouldn't have made those noises. That's not true. I got in trouble too. But Mr. Hildegard said if we make up, he'll unground both of us. Eh, who cares? Not like I can watch TV anyway. The only fun thing left to do is to stay at this wall, and I'd rather do it alone. Well, I guess I'll keep this Annie of the Stars official coloring book to myself then. You probably wouldn't want it. Are you fibbing with me? I don't know. Why don't you fib around and find out? There, okay, my upstairs neighbors are currently now knocking in response on the floor. Um, okay, no more sound effects, me thinks. Fine. But I'm going to kick your butt if you're lying. I don't care what Mr. Hildegard does. Wait, is this a limited edition one? Limited edition? Is that special? Uh, yeah, it's special. Never thought I'd see one of these again. Gimme! Only if we share it. Uh, seriously, why? If we can finish this coloring book together without a fight, Mr. Hildegard will unground us. That's the deal. Uh, you could just share it with one of your real friends. Everyone likes you. But you love Annie more than anyone. Doesn't that make you the best person to have this? Yeah, you'll probably just call inside the lines like a nerd. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Who cares? It's a coloring book. Do whatever you want. Chaos reigns. But you're supposed to color inside the lines. That's the whole point. Didn't Mr. Hildegard say we had to get along? Come on, it'll be fun. Let's color the grass red and the sky purple. Okay, but just this once. Are you sure this is the way? It feels like we've been running in circles for hours. We're almost there. I can feel a breeze from the surface. Here, come on, Patricia. Oh, frick, we're in no man's land. Well, what's going on here? Where the heck are we? Did we take a wrong turn at Sombrilla Kirky? 
Albuquerque into Sombrilla Cur- Okay, sure. It feels familiar somehow. I think this must be what's left of the village of Jakusburg. Jakus- Jakugsburg. Jak like Jacobsburg, but Jakugsburg? Okay. What? How the heck can we be back near the old orphanage? And how can you tell? It's just a wrecked bunch of smoldering wreckage, like everything else out here. Because this is where Double and I hid before we came to New Meridian. Wait, that gross place stretches out into other countries? That's terrifying. Are you saying that Gehenna stretches like as a layer beneath the surface of everything? Ew! Gross! I don't like that. No, 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 I don't like that at all. Just how big is that freaky place? Gehenna is enormous. It doesn't just connect this place to New Meridian. It extends all over the Canopy Kingdom, the continent, maybe even the world. Okay, so it's hell. Cool. Cool. Gehenna's, Gehenna's hell. Still, we should keep moving. Devil wouldn't give up so easily. Dang it, if I still had Avery, we'd make it back to New Meridian in a couple hours tops. Avery? Yeah, he's my best friend besides you. He helps me operate the synthetic parasite in my back. I see. Wait, can't you operate your parasite without him? Is it broken? I mean, I, technically I can, but do you have any idea how much math you need to do to warp the fabric of the ginormous cosmic atmosphere without killing yourself and everything around you? I made Avery so I'd never have to think about the math again. Why do math yourself when you can imagine someone who's really good at math to do it for you? Besides, Avery loves math. He also loves knives. Basically, because they're basically the same thing. <laughs> okay. Can't you still do the math since you made him? Wait, how is math like knives? You sound like the dark Patricia. Why do you make Avery loves knives so much? It's, it's very dangerous. But I tells him, listen, you're always going on about how much math you need to bend the fabric of reality. Well, if it's just fabric, just cut it with a knife. Why are you using math? That's what doesn't make sense. Man, I can't wait to introduce you to the rest of the Lab 8 gang. You're going to hit it off, I know it. Sure, they were all designed to kill you, but eh, once you get over that, we're all going to be best buds. I'm not so sure if I should come back with you. What are you talking about? If anyone gives you sass, I'll stuff him in a sack, and I'll stuff that sack in the river, and then I'll stuff the river in the sun, and I'll, <laughs> I'll stuff the sun. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Ow! Are you okay? What's wrong? Eh, arms on the fritz. I just need some maintenance and a, and a sandwich. What do you need a sandwich for? Is it necessary for your repair? It's necessary to eat. Uh, what else am I going to do with a sandwich? Right. You need food. I forgot. It's been a long time since I had to think about eating. Uh, not to state the obvious, but being a skull girl sounds like it sucks. Having to eat can be a pain, but you get to eat! At least we only have to find one sandwich. Hi, uh, what's that off in the distance? It looks like a bunch of cars, no, motorcycles? People in no man's land. This can't be good. Hey, don't be such a downer. Maybe they'll give us a lift. What if they're, or what if they're bad guys? Why, then we'll save the day by heroically beating them up and then we'll take the motorcycles. Patricia, that might be an okay idea, actually. Of course it is. I might not have my gadgets, but I still got my genius. They look like Canopy Kingdom soldiers. Stand back, Patricia. I can't let you get hurt. Hey, stop trying to be a hero. Ow, oh, damn it. This isn't the kind of August agony I had in mind. Egrets, hold your fire. Let me talk to them alone. Oh, is this broad? Wait, you look familiar. You weren't a guest on the Annie of the Stars Winter special, were ya? What? I was in disguise. No one could have... Um, excuse me. Now is not the time for that. I am the Crown Princess of the Canopy Kingdom, Parasol Renoir. Surrender, Skullgirl. If you do, we can end this peacefully. No one has to get hurt. Wait, listen. Marie's good now. I blew up the skull heart and fixed her. She doesn't have an evil bone left in her body, except that tiny crystal one keeping her alive, but eh, she's got that under control. It's because she acted with her unusual... It's because she... Wait, what? This is a weird sentence. It's because she has acted with such unusual restraint for a skull girl that I even consider the risk I'm taking now. Please, Marie. 
Give yourself up. We can protect your friend and help her live a normal life. But in exchange, you'll have to let us study you before... Before you destroy me. Others have tried to resist the Skullheart, but no one has succeeded. Even very strong, very kind people. Not even the best intentions can last forever. Ah, shows you what you know. Marie's so stubborn her good intentions can last forever. I'm sorry, Princess. I do think your actions are correct. I know I don't deserve another chance. Even so, I can't say no to my friend. She's the most important person to me. I see. I wish I could believe you, but I've seen the strongest person I know taken by the Skullheart. And I must protect my kingdom no matter what. Fight time! Yeah, let's go. Okay, alright. Nice. I need to remember to always use that, that medium kick there. Right? Do that. Right? Oh, that was cool until it wasn't. Yeah, that doesn't hit OTG or anything. Oh, I love how she did the, 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 the horns there. Once again, I gotta remember, I do have Hill Guard for that. For that pur that that's literally the purpose. We failed. Egret's retreat. Skullgirl, your struggles will only end in tragedy for you and those you love. I will stop you. I will only hope it's before that happens. I survived. Again. Why do you still fight for me, minions? I told you this isn't your battle. And the minions are just like, blah, blah, banana. I don't know. I was, that was my attempt at a DreamWorks minions reference and uh, kind of failed. Is there a skin where they're yellow? Hey, Marie, are you okay? I'm fine. You seriously expect me to believe that? You look halfway dead. In that case, I must look halfway better than normal. That, that was a joke. Be because I'm dead. Oh, but I'm undead, so I was already half dead. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't make any sense. No, I, I got it. It was funny. It it was so funny. And, and I mean this seriously that I forgot to laugh. Are, are you sure you're okay? Seeing as you're doing crazy things like making jokes. I really am fine. I promise, but did I really do the right thing? Yeah, stop asking if it was the right thing. The thing that keeps you around is good enough for me. Come on, let's get going. Where to? Well, where else is there? There's nothing else left in this burned out village and the only other place for miles around is the old orphanage. I'm not sure we should go there. Now, there might be food in a pantry somewhere, and hopefully there's still at least a part of a roof left. Wait, you're f of ghosts. But I am scared. Of the memories, right? What's all this noise? What could be causing a ruckus at this hour? I hope Patricia's not raiding the kitchen again. But if she is, maybe one cookie won't hurt. Was that a- wait, was that a scream? What's happening? Marie, there you are! We have to go now! Look, there's two more! We're gonna be rich! A tip we got was right on the money. Help! Mr. Hillgard! Oh, we already took care of the maids and the old man, so be a good girl and come here. Fat chance! Ow! Damn it! I'll make you pay when I get my hands on you! Don't you dare lay a hand on her! Mr. Hilgard, you're hurt! Never mind that. Leave now. Look for help in the village. But, Mr. Hilgard. Now! How? How could this happen? We were set up. Someone in the village tipped him off. We have to go back. And the other is Mr. Hilgard. Ah, we can't help him if we get caught too. Now keep running! You're the one who made me exercise. Now move those legs! I can't keep up. Please, Patricia, just go on. I think I saw something over here. Yeah, but these knuckleheads! Uh, I'll lead them the other way. That should buy you... It should buy you some time. You just have to make it to the village. What about you? They won't catch me that easy. 
I know the woods way better than you do. Now go! Hey, bozos, bet you can't catch me! Hey, that's the one that got Johnny. Get her! Patricia! Oh, boy. Owie! Come on, quit it! I'm fine! It's just a skin knee! We can't risk it getting infected. Now hold still. I was gonna say, we can't be in the past. You got way more than a skin knee. You always make such a big deal out of everything. And you never take anything seriously until it's too late. Ah, you worry too much. You don't worry enough. Know it all, slacker. I know you are, but... <laughs> Being back here with you, it's almost as if nothing changed. Hey, you okay? You've been acting weird since we started climbing the mountain. I'm fine. Yeah, I keep saying that. I believe in more and more each time. That was sarcasm, by the way, one of my most powerful new abilities. I'm pretty sure that's an ability you've always had, Patricia. Still, I'm fine. You're the one we need to worry about. Tomorrow, we can figure out how to get you back to New Meridian before I... Uh, before you what? I knew it! Something is wrong with you. I'm fine. I... I'm... I'm really happy you came for me, Patricia. Really, I mean it. Even just a little bit more time with you is enough. This happiness is more than I deserve. But I can't stay like this. This shard of the skull heart is too dangerous, and it's only a matter of time before it double attacks us again. It's obvious what I have to do. Of course it is. You had a journey all over the world with your best bud, of course, to find a way to bring you all back to life, foiling Double's plans and having adventures along the way, right? Patricia, I'm sorry, but no one should have this power, especially not me. Once I'm safe, I'm, once you're safe, I'm going to make sure this Shard of the Skull Heart is destroyed. Are you crazy? You know what will happen to you then, right? I've made up my mind, Patricia. I tried to fight the Skull Heart and the Medici on my own terms, but didn't I only make things worse? No! Oh. So I made things better when I helped destroy your new home, your new family, and put the whole world in danger for my selfish wish? Okay, you've made some mistakes, but did you ever... Did you ever think of how it could have been a lot worse? You could have rampaged like any other Skull Girl, but you tried to be all sneaky. You only attacked the Medici, and you even caught a fallen tower to save lives. Yeah, Squiggly told me all about that last one. No other Skull Girl would have done that. You didn't let yourself lose control. But what if I do lose control? I'm a skull girl now, Patricia. Even now, I feel the skull heart calling me. It would be so simple to give in to it. I wouldn't have to deal with all this guilt, all this pain. I could just go back to finishing off the last of the Medici. I shouldn't be thinking like that, but I can't stop. Then fight it! You shouldn't let Double or the Skull Heart or any other idiot tell you what to do. Even you? Not even me. Oh, wait, I mean... Ah. I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm saying you should be yourself. Be the stubborn, annoying, know-it-all wannabe maid that wouldn't leave me alone. You didn't give up on me back then. I'm not giving up on you now. So don't give up on yourself, Marie. Please, Patricia. Can't you honor this last wish of mine? I just want to get you somewhere safe where you can be happy and then... No, I hate this. This sucks. Giving up isn't like you at all. That's why you're such a pain in the ass, and that's why you're my best friend. Every now and then get a reminder that this game is rated T for Teen when these two are on screen. Enough, Patricia. I've made up my mind. Besides, what are you going to do to stop me in your condition? Well, I'll fight you. What? No, Patricia, you're still hurt. I don't care. I'm not giving up on you even if it means I have to fight you ag again. So if you want me to do things your way, to go back to New Meridian and be safe, you're going to have to drag me there kicking and screaming. Alright, I knew this fight was coming. I knew this fight was going to occur. I thought it'd be at a bit more of an emotional moment, personally, but... I love that here comes a giant fist so much.
That missed. So wait, I could like, wait, I'm gonna try something. If I push block her, right? Like if I push block. Oh my God, the TV. The TV appearing there is really funny for obvious reasons. Wow, I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's guaranteed here. There, stop being stubborn and listen. Yeah, okay, fine. You got me good. I know when I'm licked. You gave me so much trouble. That was dangerous. At least I'm already dead, but you... Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, man. What's so funny? You could have gotten hurt. You're so stubborn, you forgot to lose. What? You could have thrown the fight. If one of my beams hit that piece of the skull heart, it would have been blown to smithereens. But no, Marie has to be right about everything every little time. That... I... You... I... Back at the orphanage, I was sure I knew what was best for everyone, but it never turned out right. As a skull girl, I thought I could fix everything, but I only brought more death. Worst of all, you keep getting hurt because of me. Hey, what are friends for? I'm sure I've saved you a couple times now. I am awesome after all. But it took a lot more work for you to save me at first, so I'd say we're even. Whenever did I save you? Well, back at the orphanage, when all I wanted to do was watch TV. You mean when all I did was bother and nag at you? You hated that. I really hated it. Your nagging is the worst, but I have to admit, you were right. I needed friends. I needed to play outside and share coloring books. I needed to live. If you hadn't made me, I don't know if I would have made it. I'm almost giving her a bit of a British accent accidentally because this voice is very similar to the one I did for Gina Lestrade in, in Ace Attorney. So it's like, I'm trying to not become British. I'm trying to just stick to the, eh, wise guy, like kind of a, kind of a, uh, trying to do a, like a Bugs Bunny kind of, you know? But in the end, we still lost everything. You were always afraid everything would fall apart. And you were right. It did in the worst possible way. Hey, after everything that's happened, we still got each other, right? Sure, we're missing both, uh, we're both missing some pieces, but we've got a lot of cool friends. Like Avery, the fellas, everyone from Lab 8, and even all the dead guys you hang out with. I don't understand how the minions keep coming back or why. I wish they would stop. They deserve to rest. Look, I can't tell you what their deal is, but they sure seem attached for some reason. Maybe they hang around for fun, and maybe they see what I see. Someone who will try too hard, probably make a mess, but still manage to keep them safe, uh, keep them safe while saving herself. So, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep kicking ass and fighting for my friends until I'm all out of ass and I'm all out of friends. That is such a good line. What are you gonna do? I... Okay, Patricia. I'll trust you. Even if it's selfish or ends badly. As long as you believe in me, I'll keep trying. Okay. Oh, right, back to trauma. Just a little bit more. Please let there be someone in the village who can help. <sighs> Just past these trees. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my god, it's, it's, yo, this is just like that original image. Yo! Oh my god, that's, that's crazy. That's like from the, the opening video. Is there anyone out there? Anyone at all? Please, we need help. Did she turn to God? Please, somebody, hello? What do you need, child? Thank goodness. Please, sister, we need help. Raiders attack Mr. Hilgard's orphanage. They're trying to kidnap the children, and some people are badly hurt. Please, if there's anything you can do, we need help. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. What? That can't be. Everyone is counting on me to get help. There must be a way. I cannot help you. But that doesn't mean there is no hope. There may still be a way to help your friends. How? I'm clumsy. I'm slow. There's nothing I can do except beg for help. Tell me, child. If you had power, what would you do with it? Power? I don't understand. The raiders are stronger than you, so they are able to take what they desire. That is the awful way of this corrupt world. If you had the strength, what would you do? 
I'd save my friends. I'd protect them with all my might. I'd make a world where we could live together and be happy. And I'd make sure that no one could ever take that from us again. You needn't run anymore, child. The Trinity has heard your pleas. Through them, you can have the chance to make everything right again, exactly how you imagined it. All you need to do is make a wish, yep, is wish for it. Wait, what? No, you're clearly the sus imposter. You got the, the border. Don't listen to her, that's an imposter. Patricia? Me? Marie. Oh, no. Marie, that's double. She's trying to trick you into... Silence. How dare you try to impersonate Patricia twice? As if I couldn't tell from your stench. You might have been able to trick me in Gehenna, but here you are unmistakable. Oh, Marie. <laughs> and just as deluded. Double again? You almost tricked me that time. I mean, I knew she was me all along, at least I... I'm pretty sure she wasn't. I am not here to deceive, but to guide. With your shard, you can still make things right and shift the world back to its proper course. What the hell is that gonna be, huh? It'll be worse than the ending of Bloodbath Disco 3! And that ending sucked! Is that a reference to something? If it is, I missed it. A hell that will suit her masters. A world that no one would ever wish for. No one? Countless souls have, before you, have witnessed this world's corruption and seen the truth that salvation exists only through the divine intervention of our goddesses. I've had enough of this. With the power I have left, I'll at least rid the world of you. You may try, but what can you do with your tiny shard of the Skull Girl's or Skull Heart's might? Ah, she can do plenty because she's got me. Marie, I'm backing you up this time. I'm not taking no for an answer. Patricia, I... Yes, let's do this together. And what can t you two broken tools do? It's not just us. Please, everyone. You're my minions no longer, so I don't have the right to ask this of you, but we have to stop her. You may have allowed your legion... You may have been allowed your legions before, but no longer. They will not heed your call. We'll see about that. I'm gonna use them in the fight. Oh, she starts with lower health. Okay, interesting. This is true love we're making. All right, all right. It was going fine. That hit backwards. Okay. Hey, that worked. Oh, I wish that hit there. Nice. What is that song she was playing? Couldn't really tell. The music was way too loud. Stubborn, insolent, and ignorant. Listen to your masters. It is by their power that you stand anew. You have no will of your own. You exist to execute divine will alone. Obey! No. You're wrong, Double. I can hear them. They've been calling for me louder than the Skullheart. They. We will not be your puppets anymore. We will not. Uh, my head. What's happening? Marie, what are you doing to her? I have done nothing. In defending you and attacking me, Marie is finally drawn too deeply of her Skullgirl power. She is now being brought to heal. No, Marie, you gotta fight it! It is futile. Marie Corbel wished upon the Skullheart. Her wish was impure. She can no longer resist fate. She is the Skull Girl. Uh, screw that! You're the one who rigged this whole game! What's the point of something that grants wishes if it never actually grants your wishes? 
to teach you mortals a fundamental truth. Your efforts will never grant you happiness or salvation. Your struggles beget nothing but suffering in a world ungoverned by the Trinity. Cease resisting. Restore your will to the Trinity, and they will cure the ills you have inflicted upon this world. No, I won't. Petulant child, clinging to that which you have stolen, I should not be surprised. All born on this world are thieves, life stolen from their blood, societies built on their flesh and bone, and yet all sentient creatures have stolen something far more precious still. The will that drives you. I will! Lady, we were born with it! We can do whatever we want! Watch! Nya nya! The purpose of the Skullheart is return your will to the goddesses, so they might choose a more proper, deserving fate for you mortals. Interesting. Okay. So that kind of goes with that idea of them, like, doing the timelines. Okay. Huh. Everything I did. Everything was all for them? Poor deluded creature. The goddesses answered your wish and allowed you the free will to choose revenge. All you did was according to your own will. Tell me. Did it make you happy? Did it make the world better? You already know the truth, Marie. You could do nothing on your own. In time, you would have seen the truth the all other Skullgirls before you have understood. Mortal will cannot make this world right. On that day, you would have broken and given yourself to them wholly, becoming a sacrifice of free will great enough for the Trinity to break the cracks of the abyss and be free once more. Okay, so they are trapped somewhere. Where's the abyss? I This is the first time I've heard that. No. You took advantage of my weakness and desperation back then, but we don't need your corrupt power anymore. We will create the future we want with our own hands. That's right! I already smashed your stupid skull hard once and I'll do it again! I'll smash it so hard your bosses won't be able to mess with Marie's head ever again! Marie, you've got to fight them! Don't let them take over! Don't worry, Patricia. I won't give up. I'm not afraid anymore. You're with me. And so are they. I can hear them. The voices of the dead whose will was stolen. They're calling for me to free them. They can't rest yet. Together will show the Trinity whose will is stronger. That's the ticket. All you gotta do is be as stubborn as you possibly can be. Fight the Skullheart and kick him out. This is gonna be a, a battle in the center of the mind we're doing. Oh, I'm looking at that. Yeah, because as soon as I saw the nightmare stage, I'm like, there's gonna be some internal battle. This has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Whoa, whoa. You have the goddesses there. Straight to the point as always. No, wait, you have, like, a weird, like, old woman voice, right? Straight to the point, as always. So willful for someone so young. That's why we picked you. Deception is doubles game, and I'm very tired of it. Don't you have a face of your own? Would that you could witness our full glory. Your tiny shard is all that we have, so it's your face that we will wear. A series of coincidences like none in endless aeons would require for this moment to arrive. Oh, wait. Wait, no, the colors. Was that means one for each person? Wait. Oh. Oh, interesting. They're all speaking from her in different colors. So I'm guessing red is Aeon. No, red is Venus. Blue is Aeon. And then, oh, Mother. But who, oh, we don't know anything about Mother, right? You cannot imagine how lucky you are. If not for that other child, this would have ended quite differently. I'm lucky to have her. Okay, that might be Mother. Or is that Aeon? I can't tell what color is which. Oh no, yellow must be time, because you're talking about time. Okay. You are. As for us, while the setback is unexpected, there's still time. We have nothing but time. Oh, well if you have so much time, it must hardly be worth the effort to crush a little dust bunny like me. Now this is amusing. We may have time, but we don't have the patience. We have endured count uncountable agonies of time, dreaming of nothing but freedom from the mortals who stole our flesh and power. Mortals stole the flesh? Huh. You were to be the final grain of sand to fall through the hourglass, yet you persist. Okay, yellow is definitely her, because there's too many time metaphors. I see. You must hate me very much. Eternally. Absolutely. With the whole of our being. 
so just a tiny bit more than the average human. Nothing personal. You can never understand our suffering, so trying to communicate it is just wasted effort. Oh, this is cool. We're actually... Are we going to have to battle, like, three Maries, each one representing one of the goddesses? Oh, that'd be cool. Forgive me if I... If I take what you did to me and Patricia a bit more personally than that. Your suffering was just a whim. Like the wishes we grant, we've chosen to make your life especially miserable just because we can. Is this fun for you? Is that why you hurt us so? It serves a simple purpose. To demonstrate that your fate belongs to us, for us to do with as we please. And of course, it's amusing too, don't get us wrong. I see. I'm going to fight you with everything I have, whether I survive or not. And blue is is mother, who again like double kind of resembles, might be double. I'm not sure, right? We thought as much. Humans tend to react that way. Then let's end this alone. You are nothing. You may be right, but I'm not alone. Every minion once controlled by the Skullheart has a reason to fight you. The wishes you twisted, the lives you stole, all their hopes and dreams and regrets, they're still with me. They won't rest until the world is free from you. They are nothing. We are the only reality. We will snuff out their will and you will die alone. Then do your worst. One way or another, I will be the last Skullgirl, but hopefully not the last Skullgirl DLC character. You are oh, cool. Okay. All right. Yo, yo. Trying to. Oh, great. Okay. Should be moving on to next phase pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, all right. Ow. Oh my god, you, he said you got this. That's cool, that's fun. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Nice. One final big whack. Okay. Yeah, doing any move that lets you switch sides really destroys phase one or two. That's kind of a key strategy I've learned. Defiance from you, we expected. Defiance from the dead is impossible. This victory cannot be. Thank you, everyone. I wish you could hear how grateful I am to you. Oh, dear Marie, it's no trouble. Rather, excuse me, I'm rather late, aren't I? Mr. Hilgard, what, how? I said, rather late, get it? On account of being, well, dead. But, but... Ah, the same Marie. I did hope I could come up with a punchline that would have made you laugh, but my sense of humor, well, it's not quite the time for it in any case. Obey us, minion. Get rid of her. No, thank you. There might be nothing left of me but bones, but even those bones would stand against you if they had the chance. Which, thanks to Marie, they do. I'm sorry, Mr. Hilgard. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help that day, and I'm sorry that I ask for your help even now. You, all the minions, must hate me for how weak I am. Hey! <laughs> Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta do skeleton voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, kid. It's not like you killed me. You did kill Joe, though. He's still kind of mad about that. Yeah, I'm mad. But I'm more mad at these broads. That Trinity stole our will and used our bodies like puppets. They're the ones we got a bone to pick with. Especially Joe. That's right. You fought the Skullheart together with Patricia and severed the hold they had over our will and yours. So we'd like to fight together with you, as minions no longer. But it shouldn't be me. I don't deserve it. I'm not strong enough. 
you certainly are strong enough, but as for whether you deserve it, we the dead have no way to decide that. All we have are our lost will and regrets, and there is no one but you who can listen to them. Whether you're a good person or not doesn't matter, really matter to us. We're begging you here! I can't exactly say I was a great guy, but I just want to rest! Even I deserve that. That, and I'd love to give these goddesses a piece of my mind, or skull. I... No. I can't waver anymore. Without a strong will, we won't be able to clean up this mess. I'll do my best to serve you all as caretaker of the dead. So, Rebellion it is. You may have defeated us here, but you cannot imagine the power we possess. Be afraid, mortal. Our advent is closer than you imagine. That almost makes it sound like they're going to be Season 2 characters. I think it would be. I think, I think they're the next step in the story. No. It's you who should be afraid. I'm not alone anymore. She can do her spirit bomb here, I swear to God. The Marieverse. <laughs> Into the Marieverse. Oh my god, wait, is she drawing upon all the different Skullgirls? All the Skullgirls who hope for a better world, only to have their wishes twisted. That's good art. Also, hey, King. Everyone who died at your hands, their futures cut short. Okay, if that's supposed to be him dead, how is he still flaming head Mr. Dude? I don't know. Our lives, our hopes, our will. Give it back. Give back what you took from us. That's a sick Marie image. Yo. That, that rocks. That's so good. That's so good. No. Impossible. You goddesses have no hold over me. Leave before I show you what my power can do. Scram, double. Next time it's curtains. Oh, did you really do it, Marie? Oh. Wow. Patricia. Hey, you're only gone a couple minutes. Did you really miss me that much? I'm just so happy. My wish had finally came true. My real wish. I had the strength to save my friends. I finally did it. Ah, uh, jeez, Marie. You're such a crybaby. Come on, if you keep crying, then I'm... I'm gonna... That's enough Japanese for one day. We got so much catching up to do. I'm not gonna waste it crying on you. Or waste it on crying. Let's get out of here. Is... But I would say if I could free still freaking teleport. We're still stuck here and I'm still starving. I didn't even get my sandwich. Ah, oh, maybe I left one in my hat somewhere. That's a new sprite. Nothing, not a... Oh, 20 bones. Wait, is that... Boss, there ya! Ah, oh, jeez, we were all real worried. Avery, were in my hat the whole time, you big goofus? And why didn't you come out and save us? Come on, come down, boss. Someone was interfering with the ginormous cosmic atmosphere and we couldn't find you. Then it suddenly all cleared up crazy, huh? Oh, you must be Avery. Thank you for watching over Patricia. Pleased to make your acquaintance, ma'am. Ah, did you bring the wagon? Oh, wait, let me feel around. Oh, that feels like a bumper. Oops, that might be an elephant. Ah, there it is. Hey, Marie, you ever see a peacock pull a car out of a hat? N no. Well, now you have. Also, fun fact, they added in Peacock's unused car intro to the game, so that's cool. Come on, get in. We're heading back in style. Man, that was crazy. But we saved the world or something. Not bad for a day's work. We, we might have a long road ahead still. There's so much you don't understand and Double's still out there plotting. Well, we saved today at least. We can worry about saving tomorrow for tomorrow. You're right. Right now, I couldn't be happier. I'm not sure what's coming next, but... Whatever it is, let's face it together. Is that also like a Wario... Wario Land reference with the ending there? Okay, there's a hundred... There's a hundred percent gonna be a brand new thing at the end there. Let's see here. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm real curious. Uh, Alright, let's see. 
Uh, okay, let's just, let's just fast forward then. I tried pressing any button resume. Wait, if it's not letting us skip, is it gonna like, is there gonna be a crazy... Also, shout outs to the new Soviet announcer, Gary Schwartz. Uh, that is, that is uh, the voice of Heavy from Team Fortress 2. That's pretty good. Okay. Wait, there's no skip button. Yeah. Okay. That's real curious. That makes it feel like something's gonna happen to, like, cut the credits away or something. Or, maybe because it's, like, the last story mode, they're not letting us skip it because they want to let us see. Um, I've seen these credits so many times. So many times. I do not need to see them again. I'm sorry. I've seen them so many times. I follow half these people on Twitter. Well, not these people, but I follow a lot of people on Twitter. Look at all these people. Look at all these contractors and cleanup animators and all these people. There's a lot of people in this game. There's a lot of people who work on it. Fuzzy interns. Hey. I like them there. Some special thanks. There's a lot of them. All right. And you. That's me. I knew there'd be more. Yo. Yo. Hey, Valentine's in her new design there. Well, it makes sense. They would just start it right away. Right? Okay, I'm gonna be real. If she wore that lab coat in combat, that would be the sickest. That'd be the sickest. Also, her boobaroos look amazing. I see, I see. Fascinating, simply fascinating. So this is the true nature of Theonite. Of course, how could it be anything else? Excellent work securing the pieces. You've done quite well, Valentine. Also, Brain Drain's boobaroos are looking kind of crazy. It wasn't easy, but if this thing is capable of half the things you say it is, I'll consider it a bargain. Is is it is the joke that, hey, you can use it for, um, gotcha? Also, what's going on in the background? What are they mass producing? Those don't look like any sort of character. Huh. Have some faith. It's a momentum oca momentous occasion for us. No, for mankind itself. Avian is dead, and Lab 8 is in ruins along with a good chunk of the city. Not to mention Painwheel is missing. Is that really according to plan, Doctor? Merely temporary setbacks. Avian has already finished his masterwork, and I have acquired all the data from Lab 8 I require. As for Painwheel, she will return in time. You sound confident. I'm not sure the future is really that predictable. A far more appropriate choice of words than you know, Valentine. Until this moment, the future itself has been the sole domain of beings far greater than we. For many millennia have we danced to their tune, our fates orchestrated by their designs. All that ends now, with this. What, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? I'm gonna let it zoom up before I read this. <gasps> Robo Skull Heart! That's cool! Shut up, that's cool. Please call it the, like, the skull engine or something. For too long have we been content merely staving off the incursions of the skull girl and her masters. Soon our counterattack will begin, and humanity will seize control of our destiny. For even goddess- Oh, that's a good name! For even goddesses will tremble before the might of the chrome heart. Yo! Sequel hook, let's go! Oh, that makes me so happy! Oh yeah, baby. Okay, I'm excited to see where that goes. Funny enough, Marie has had a has had a part of the game art here for a long time. Cause you know, she's been in the game forever. But now we got, yeah, more art here. I think this is all Oh, this is for playable Marie. Okay. This is new. It's kinda neat, right? Her bangs stay flat. We do not see through her uh, her pigtails through the skull eyes. Normal irises, not skulls. Big forehead, very important. Very important, right? I love, I love reading these, right? These are so fun. What is wide is her pigtails. Straps connect to the underside of the apron. Wears opaque tights, so she doesn't really need bloomers. Ideally, we're never seeing them above her thighs anyway. True. Don't don't be weird. Right, four visible vertebrae. The ribs don't attach to her spine. It can flare out for cool pose. Whatever looks cool, right? It's important. Make it look cool. 
Make it on model, but make it look cool, right? Refs for me. This is cool, because it's like, here's some existing art, right? We use that to then make these new expressions. I like it. Her eyes should always be a little hooded or sleepy, even when her eyes are open. Her range of emotions are more limited. See cutscenes for it. Yeah. Right? Giant cranium. I like this face. Like, even when she's happy, she's like, she's still got them, them little eyes, right? The little things there. Bananis. Little feet if necessary to sell the pose. Yep. We got that there. Cool. And then that, which we can't get because we got to play on like super hard, right? Got a story stuff. Cool. I wonder if there's any beta art because in the other ones there was some beta art, but I don't think so. I think all because because they kind of. Why is there a bunch of these here? What's the difference? Oh, it's the expressions. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, good art. Good art, good game. Good game. All right, I'm gonna hide this. I need a screenshot of this for the thumbnail. Right? All right, uh, cool. I don't think there's anything really else to point out other than I'm excited for more stuff, right? Uh, in the future. They, they said Skullgirls ain't done, right? Um, the mobile game is getting assists of uh, unique characters. It'd be really cool if they incorporate it into like so, like, if you, like, okay, here's, here's my, like, my dream is that I can go into, like, this, and, like, at the top, oh my god, there's not many slots left, though, really. Uh, like, there's, there's, I mean, I know they said there's more, but, like, if we look, I can only count, like, three at the bottom and two at the top. Uh, but it'd be kind of cool if, like, once you select, like, a character to play as, right, let's say, let's say you pick, you know, uh, you pick two. You can pick a character. And then afterwards, like, there'll be a new option that pops up in place where it's like, if you want, uh, an maybe they'll get rid of the random button, turn it into, like, a button combo for random. In the center, then you can get, like, assist-only characters to get, like, a new take on it. So it's like, they're not playable, but they give you uh, an assist. I think that'd be cool, right? Minette's the first one. Uh, they probably won't do that for, for it, for probably balance purposes, but it would be cool. It would be cool. I guess the last thing that we have is I'm curious about uh, the goth Marie. What does she say? So I'm actually going to turn the music right down, right? And let's also switch over to um, the new Soviet announcer because I'm real curious about that. Let's go to training and I want to hear what some of her uh, her voice lines are, right? Let's go Marie. to... I am the last skull girl. And we unlocked... I think it was this palette. Let's do... Well, if we're doing goth, we gotta go goth, right? Goth palette. And let's go. Who else might she say for stuff? I don't know. Uh, you're kind of goth. Goth versus Valley Girl. Let's go. Oh, wait. They won't say anything on intro, though. So. Stupid. Rawr. Stupid. Jab. Jab. Excuse <laughs> me. Jab. Yeah! Like, wait, what? Feel my angst. Feel my angst. What's the point? Sweep well. Sweep well. Sweep well. Okay, that's pretty good. Pain. Pain. Okay. What else? What else? Stupid. Unleash my dark power. Unleash my dark. Okay. Pretty fun. It's kind of fun listening to just the alternate takes, you know. Okay. I couldn't even hear what she really said for that one. All right, what else we got? We got. Oh my God, that's a good one. Makeover time. Forget how this one works. Welcome to my twisted mind. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Welcome what to my twisted new? mind is really good. Okay, that's much easier to do now, it feels like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's solid. Let's go. That's just, just to take this. Alright, let's do the taunt. 
sweet rains will be served soon. <laughs> the witching. Sweep what? A dark sacrament for you. Enjoy the dance macabre. Whatevs. Rains will be served okay. soon. Okay. All right. Solid. Wait, more. I want to... I mean, I've heard most of these already, actually. You can... You, there's videos of, of all the, the... They just re-recorded a lot of the lines there. But, um... Yeah. All right. Cool beans. I'm going to put the music back up because, dang, the music in this game is pretty good, too. Solid time. Solid time, all things considered. So, thank you all for watching, everyone. And uh, in the future, we'll be back for more Skullgirls when next year, probably, at this rate. Because uh, they got to finish with the Valentine redo. They have to do uh, the balance patch probably won't do videos on those but i'm excited to try them out especially i'll probably i might do some videos of just me playing with friends when the balance patch comes out because that could be fun we all love this game still half the people in my you know my discord there are old skull heart people right and we still talk about all the good skull heart times and the bad skull heart times you know what you did anyways thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time for some more skull girls in the future and uh, the unvoiced, no commentary videos when the voice packs come out. Ciao. What, what noise was that? Ciao. <laughs> 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 <laughs>